Hey guys, a quick update. Um, a lot of new things we're going to be changing. Um, just got my second connect for uh, SFP. We're doing direct connect since we're passive. Um, so each host is connected to the SAM. Um, it's capable of doing two. If you're ever going to do a direct connect, up to two hosts. Um, um, we purchased um, two more servers. That's right, two. We have an R210 coming from the firewall and a R510 just like this one, but it's going to be an 8 bay and it's going to be a backup server. Um, probably 24 terabytes. Um, it's just to back up all the stuff in the house and the servers because I mean I have enough for redundancy failover for uh, network connections, power, the only thing I don't have failover is right there, the bottleneck but I mean what can you do so I get some new toys got another rail kit if you guys wonder what kind of rails I use they are Nova Point. Nova Point, sorry. Nova Point. They like shelf rails for servers. The better because I can actually slide it in and out and my servers sit on a thing. Um, got the label, nice and organized. You need to get some fillers and get rid of these uh, drives and put the ESXi on this flash card built into them to save some drives, some drives for something else or whichever. Here we go. I don't know if you guys saw the front. This is the same. And no, there is not three 1 terabyte drives. They're all one 1 terabyte drives. Um, this is just an old server. This is my very first server I ever worked with. It just sits there. You guys wonder power usage? It's right there. Top, top one is uh, switches and warp system. Not too bad for all the for the 6248P switch, PoE switch, and the 5448 power connect, and my edge router. And these, how much of this all three servers take? 0.6 kilowatts. I have over 10 minutes of load if power goes out. You guys are wondering how much power this guy takes, or all of them take. 80 watts, really efficient, very quiet compared to the loudest thing in here is actually the switch. This one takes 193, much better than a Dell Power H250. Oops, I want to take the pop in it. Um, also, got a new. Um, you get great deals from these guys. A uh, cable management thing to switch it out. Here's an SFP. I'm going to use it for my other server. I was deciding to sell this R710 for, well, like around $500 with the storage it has and everything. But I decided I'm going to keep it and probably play with OpenStack and stuff like that. Here is a Silkworm 3250, some old switches. Um, if you ever guys ever seen a Google server, They're right up there. Um, got a lot of old hardware and stuff like that. Good grief. <laughs> I guess we can say we have enough cat fives to run a whole business. Yeah, there's an update. For you guys, trying to keep it up to date as possible. Once the whole project's completed, I will show you guys uh, at the desktop with VMware and all that fancy stuff. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to say, the edge router is going to be replaced with 210. So I'm going to sell this on eBay, probably for around $280 shipped or with shipping. Got the original packaging still over there. Um, other than that. Um, 
yeah. Little update. Um, a lot of people are asking me, what do I need this for? Well, learning, business, and just having fun with it. Can never go wrong. Yep, the switches. Flashlights. Yeah, stay tuned, guys. I will send you guys more updates. I'll probably be making my own website. Post it off one of these virtual uh, instances. It'll be a, a little pod talking about um, how I do stuff and why I'm doing this. And this inspiration I come from a project, the Home Data Center. The guy is on the fifth base. It's where I kind of get the inspiration to do this and see from other people. Um, like IT server tech, shout out to him, he uh, follows me, I follow him, keep in touch once in a while, but yeah, um, stay tuned, and I'll make a video of unboxing of the new uh, two servers coming in, other than that, that's it.